Well, hello everybody and welcome back to episode 3 of Mudsford 0.9.1 playtesting. We are going to be raising our army and getting ready to assault our first raid camp. We just need to build up a few things, get a few more clubs, and we'll be ready to go. Last video we got ourselves a tier 2 forester camp. And we're planting like crazy. And it looks like we have enough trees that we can switch back to a 2 to 1 cut ratio. So they'll plant more than they cut eventually. When all the trees are planted, every time they cut a tree down, they'll replant. So it doesn't really matter what the ratios are at that point. But initially, it's useful if you're trying to get them to plant a bunch of stuff so that it starts growing. This, look, this looks great. Enormous amount of deer. We have half of our hunter army right now. Trying to keep my laborers going steady so that we can keep all the materials moving. We should have a pretty sizable amount of people coming in. We have two towers now. We have plus 19 gold. Very good. Alright, cool. And there's our clubs. So we're going to need as many as we can get. So we have everything we need. Except for the tower. So what we're going to do is place a tower down. But we're going to move it in the direction of our enemies. But first, what I found is easy is to build the tower and then move it instead of just instead of building it out there. Because that will take a long time. But moving one person can do. And we'll just start inching it closer and closer to this enemy. Okay. I'm wondering... How we want to go about this so basically we're gonna have ourselves a little mini fort probably right there just send a team of people to get that terraforming done that's where we're gonna place our tower all right here we go we got a raid coming in. Party of 16. Oh shit, they got a freaking battering ram. Alright, let's get our, our hunter teams together. Somewhere. <laughs> we should be pretty alright. It would have been nice to have walled up the town center. I would recommend that you always do that. But, uh... We're going, we're going for the risk. Eventually when I move it though, I'll fortify it properly. Okay. And let's, let's engage. This guy needs to get the fuck out of there. He can't move. All right. He, he just has to die then. Sometimes this game pisses me off. Not gonna lie. That was pretty stupid. He just... These guys were just like, nope. It's alright. We'll get everybody. Alright, cool. Now all the riffraff are gone. We can focus on beating up this thing. You guys need to get the fuck out of there. Okay. At least... They feel, I feel like everyone's running slow-mo. Alright, yeah, we got to get the uh, hospital up as soon as possible so that we don't lose people. Alright, they were able to get the tower. I don't know why this tower isn't shooting. Okay, the guy just got to work. I thought they patched that so that they are static, but I guess not. Alright, so we got one tower. Got a couple dead people. Alright, we need to get this hospital up. There's no, There's no way around it now. Can't be losing people. It was a pretty stupid raid. All right, they all buggered off now. Let's uh, prioritize building this hospital. Once we hit a hundred pop, we'll go and raid that bit. Those people over there. I'm gonna hold off on this for now. 
We've got enough on our plate. Let's put this up to times three. Alright. We can sell honey to this guy. That's fantastic. Got crossbows. Those would be nice. I don't know if we can afford them. Alright, they killed one person. We killed 12 of them. They are getting a little feisty, though, as you can see. Looks like someone died from their wounds. We're not able to get the hospitals up in time. But that's fine. So what's cool about the hospitals is you don't have to pay for them to have people brought there to heal. Um, they're really expensive. Ish. 25 gold, yeah. Pretty expensive. But uh, when people are knocked unconscious, you can bring them to a healer hut that is off. They can still have patience, unless they patch that finally. We'll find out. Alright. I'm gonna let everyone kind of like do their thing, get back and running. We're gonna have, you know, lots of wood coming in here pretty soon. Why are they cutting down the tree saplings? Holy shit. What are they doing? Oh my god, they bugged it out. Now they're cutting down, um, saplings. Weird. Even though it says mature trees only. Okay, so this is, this is the area we wanted this in. No, wait, those, that's a six. Five, seven. So they were getting seven wood from those trees they cut. That's some weird glitch. I'm not gonna um, argue with it though because they they were able to get the full yield from the sapling. But I don't know what the fuck's going on? It's so weird. I guess I can't like I can't complain because I just technically got a bunch of free shit. So we're booting the farmer down to six. We finally we only need six on this for twelve by twelve. not going to do it until it's fully built. That's a lot of sand. Alright, the wood is good. Everything is in good shape right now. Got lots of money. <laughs> Relatively. Throw some of that this way. Cool, we got our tower. We just need to build our population up. We need a bit more hunters. We need to get our food up. Once this farm's up fully, we'll be pulling in some big crops. Yeah, if we can get our food up, that would help with the What shit is this guy doing? Alright, cool. Plotting our war. Well, that's not good. Where's the negative coming from here? Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Get a couple of houses over there. All these bad boys up. Get it over with. Alright. Yeah, we're doing alright. It's, it's just the kind of uh, 
time sink now, but eventually we'll have our army of men. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is bait all of their soldiers back to here and try to use my towers and kill them and then rally out with a full force. Might actually be, yeah. Might be the way to go. Those bandits, though, they're they're getting a little a little uh, frisky. How much is it? 250 gold to move this? Probably would be wise. Well, I eventually want to move all this stuff over here. Um, problem is, is I, I want to keep my defenses near the market and near all these houses. So this is going to hurt a little bit, but uh, I might just bump some of this stuff out. But we need to we need to put a wall around this stuff. Yeah. It's mainly just a, a people thing right now. And that's mostly the food. Just can't you really just can't win. Um you have to give. You have to, to downplay something. Okay, work camp goes down. Hunters go up. Let's just get the whole damn, all the hunters up. All the work camp up. We just got a big influx of immigrants. We got three. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll just we'll just take the take the bullet. We only need six farmers, so we're good there. Or put more farmers out there, that would make it faster. But uh, we need the three laborers to move product around, or we won't get our meat cooked. I'll get rid of this one. Just do one terraforming for now. Nice. Bunch of money. Alright, we're starting to gather lots of pelts, so that's a lot of money there too. And they can't use, the uh, hunters can't use shields or barracks. We want advantage of the barracks, but we don't have the money for our barracks. We definitely should start buying baskets when we have the capacity. We need 250 gold in our city to move this damn thing. We also need a ton of wood for the wall. But we definitely need to work on fortifications here. Looks like they're coming this direction. There's really no benefit to terraforming. Quite yet. these ledges pretty well. Nice, look at that. Another 600. They'll buy jackets. And they will sell us bricks. And we want to buy 40 something on bricks, I think. To upgrade the, the, the market. 50. Here's the problem. These are really expensive. Um, I probably should look to the other guy for bricks first. Yeah, he doesn't have them. If this thing is destroyed, we're gonna need 25 uh, to repair it. So, realistically, we need 75 bricks. But four more. Of course. All right, we'll get the money. I'm not gonna buy the baskets unless I unless I can. We got uh, coats coming in. But yeah, we want to upgrade that that market. That's gonna be a lot of passive gold for us. Very much worth it in the in the long run. You get one gold per house in the radius of a tier one market, and you get two gold for a tier two. It's one of the best upgrades, but it's expensive if the raiders come and destroy it. That's the that's the drawback. I mean, you get two trader, two guys stuck in this damn thing because they're taking forever. That's that to zero, so they stop moving. The 
Louise, just give me the money. Okay. There we go. This is at 74. Not quite 75. Okay, cool. Jackets. I'll buy three, whatever. I don't care. We definitely want to buy herbs, too. Boom. Yep. 11 people. Boom. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay. So this is done. So we want to bump this to six people. Perfect. Now we can turn auto fill on. Cool. So because we, we want all of our hunters to start equipping themselves. We want them to get their arrows. We want to get their bows. We're in fantastic shape right now, actually. Alright, cool. This is ideal, for sure. So now we just need a ton of boards. And we have the wood. Let's start pumping boards out. Alright. Yeah, this stuff is actually all just kind of nonsense, so... I don't need to send these people up here for that. What I need to send them up here for is to uh, get the tower location dealt with. You'll see what I'm doing here in a second. I'm going to put the tower here, and I'm going to use this to pull my forces back. I'm going to have them attack the tower, and I'm going to try to kite them with my men. Most likely the tower will be destroyed. Then we're going to pull everyone back uh, here. I want as few of them as possible come back here, because if there's too many of them, they might start killing people. Well, that's how we're going to handle that. We might actually be able to take them right there. We'll see. Well, if we have to retreat, we'll have that capacity. That will get us up to above 30 there. Boom, house can now be occupado again. Oh boy. Oh shit. Root cellars. Oh. Alright, so this is gonna hurt, but it has to be done. I'm gonna have to move it multiple times. We're in good shape. Over 12 months of food, got a high immigration rate. Could lose quite a bit of quite a bit of people and uh, not feel it. We've we've really got ourselves in good shape. Sufficient resources. Get two firewood cutters though. We're almost at a point where we can start buying iron and producing crossbows, which will be one of my next goals. We want to get everyone with a crossbow. It's a relatively cheap thing to do once you have a basic economy. Once we get more people, we can start increasing production of hide coats, production of boots, get us more trade items. Um, and then all the excess pelts we get from our hunters. We we're gonna re we're not gonna have this many hunters as soon as this war is over. Um, I'm going to reduce the amount of hunters I have, because I have quite a bit of money. I can afford uh, more towers. Towers are the way to go uh, for the late, the mid-game raids that we're going to see. Once, you, once you're over 100, it's, it gets a little dicey. Yeah, you know what? Screw it, yeah. We're not even, even going to do that. 
we're going to get ourselves some forts. This would be a great spot for a fort. Most likely, though, what I'm going to end up doing is... Okay, so this is just the entryway. Most likely, what I'm going to do is end up putting my town hall in the storage right here, I think. Terraform this so no one can get up it. Cool, we got lots of food. So close to being ready. A little bit more resources. Taking out the enemy towers is going to require we lose some people. That's for a good cause. We're going to put two people in this tower. How many excess people do we have? Enough. Need everyone to get equipped. Right. No melee weapon. That's not good. Alright, cool. We can upgrade market. That's the big one. people in this one. Move it. Prioritize. Let's get a bunch of people building. Um, what can I do here? I'll pull back on the work camp and I'm just gonna put 10 people in the building. And boards? Yep. We just went builders, builders, builders. Let's get everything moved. Let's get everything built. And I'll put them back to work. Perfect. This should go up quite a bit. The wait a month for it to uh, register. Nice. Monthly income 44. You can see it right there. That it's already doubled. So this is the old one. It says 22. Now it's 44. Takes a month for the, the gold thing to update, but that just goes to show you what I'm talking about. One gold per house, and then two gold per house with the upgraded market. That's how that works. Yeah, relics would be nice. The relics would definitely be a benefit. We're doing this old school. Alright. Alright. Put this back to seven. Let's fill everything up. Take seven people, hell yeah, I'll take seven people. Even if I can't get him where they need to go. Alright, those guys are sick. Now you're coming even if you're sick, I don't care. I don't think that that's 13. They're gonna die. They're already dead, so I don't really care that they're sick. Alright. Here's our militia. I don't think it's everybody, but it's everybody that's coming. It is a hunter. 
shit. This bear chose the wrong party. He chose the wrong party to crash. I thought this would be built by now. Shit, that one person died. Alright, I'll let that one person go. <laughs> they didn't even make it to the party. Oh, look at that. They died and they dropped their weapons. I don't think they did that before. Um, That wasn't in combat, though, so maybe we'll see if they die in combat. Oh my god. Where's this dude? The love of god, get out here. I wish I could group. I'm waiting for... Uh, there's supposed to be some pretty serious patches for this game, so... Here we go. Moment of truth. Missing out on all that sweet trade, but I can't let go now. We got a lot of wood coming in now. We're probably not going to need more than that one, Forester. Are you serious? Finish the job. What are you doing? These people hate me. How many of you have? One, two, three, four, five, seven. We got 13. 13 warriors. Like the third with uh, Antonio Banderas, the 13th warrior. There we go. Alright, they hate me. I fucking hate you people too. <laughs> so much. It's just so much right now. <sighs> Finish the job. This is one thing I actually hate about the game, is not being able to tell people what to do. As a laborer, I can't do shit. Alright, well this laborer is going to join the, the armada. Alright, here comes the builder, finally. We lost 288 beans out of probably like 1500 beans, it's not too bad. What's going on? What is this? This is a conspiracy. All right, well, you're joining me too then. Okay. Get some. Let's get some more builders. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cycle all the builders out. I'm gonna cycle you all back in. All right, one more builder. This time. This time is different. You can feel it. I swear to God, if you stop on one, I will kill you. Alright, cool. Seeking weapons. Perfect. Alright, once these... Once these soldiers get here... Now, the soldiers in the patch, they're supposed to be static now. So, when they don't need food or anything. Um, that's what it said in the patch notes. That they, they'll just be there, like, static units. They won't leave their posts anymore. And that is a lot of deer. Alright, we got five five months worth of food because I took all the hunters over here. They're coming. They're coming. I should have I should have done this first. <laughs> so impatient. Here they come. Here they come. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the battle. Okay. So this is gonna be the hard part, because I'm gonna have to. Try to keep everybody from running away. Okay. Alright, I got my army. Fuck, that was stupid. That was stupid. I should have sent more people. Okay. She might make it. Boot this up. Okay, one of them's cold. Cool, cool, cool. They came to the ambush party. No, let the one. I want them to engage the uh, the building first, and then we can engage them. Boom! Oh shit! See this? This dude's got like full plate armor. So we're gonna fucking Scooby do this, dude. All right? People are gonna die. That's just the way it is. Okay, cool. We took out the party. I'm gonna let the the weak retreat. Don't know if they have any more men. Oh, they do. Okay, we're just gonna run in, pop a pop a shot, and boot. 
Shit, that was stupid. Just run. Those are bowmen that are chasing me too. Designated bowmen, you can tell. These might be some of the newer models. Or, no, those one, that one wasn't. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Shit. Well, they... I think if they don't die from combat, they drop their shit. So that's kind of cool. Oh, fuck. They're hungry. They're all gonna die. I have to let them go. <sighs> Next time. You know what? Th th there are moments in history. Moments in history where you, you go all in. They're gonna die. They're not gonna make it back to town. This is this is their moment. This is war. Moments moments in history. That's all I can say. They knew what they they knew they were signing up for a one way death miss, mission when this happened. I can get the tower. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is such a bad idea. If I get the tower, though, I'll be happy. Go on, get the tower. I could have gotten the camp for sure, but this tower is what I really wanted. The oh, fuck? We got company. And the, the selection in this game is kind of janky. Oh, beautiful. Now the problem is getting all these dead bodies. Oh, man. I really, outdid, I really outdid myself here. All right. Well, I got 14 more hunters. <laughs> I got 14 more. <laughs> 14 more at the end of the fray. This is, this is barbaric leaf. Hilarious. That, those people didn't need to die. Um, honestly, I should have waited till everything was over. I'm super, super impatient and uh, just don't care. So you can you can take these things. A barracks would have been better with uh, units with shields. Probably some better armor. But this is war. War. I could have baited them back to my thing. Problem is, is I was on a time timer with them starving to death, so. All right. Well, I got 14 more of you boys. Let's do this. I don't care what you got. Use your fists. Use your screams. We're gonna kill everybody. Gotta hit. We gotta hit while the hitting's good. This is definitely uh, the Zerg strategy for sure. Just hunt, lob them. I mean, I'm going to be honest. With you, their lives really don't matter. Um, and we did lose all the weapons if they die in combat. But, like, uh, most of these guys just have bows and things that I can produce. And I get, you know, I'm at 97 and 109. These, li like, these, these really are expendable numbers here. The camp itself has some kind of damage. We're just going to kill the camp. Yeah, go, man. Some of them got clubs. Those clubs were really inexpensive, too. Man, if these guys all die, I'll send 14 more. And I'll just keep sending them. Yeah, you. I don't know. This guy's a smoker, but he's he's for the cause. He's for the cause. Oh, nope, he died for the cause. All right, times two this bitch. Oh, whoa, 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 look at that. I got 20 coats, got my gold back. I got eight swords, three shields, and one. These swords were worth more than those 14 people's lives. And I mean that seriously, because I can get that back in one year. For the cause, for the cause. And now, look what we have done. That was like, I, that was so messy. I could have done such a, a nicer job on that, but uh, I'm glad I did it because it was pretty funny. So now we're going to get ourselves our for first forager shack. 
We'll get the eggs. The uh, eggs are great. And we'll get these herbs. And these, these 18 herbs are going to save a lot of lives. <laughs> so that I can throw them. I'll throw them away. I'm saving them because I care. Because I want loot. So we did get some loot there. I am going to place this tower over here. And I'm actually going to keep that tower here. This this tower is going to be kind of a buffer uh, for, for everything that's coming. It's down to five. All right. And we do need some more laborers now. But the good news is that uh, the war the war is over. And uh, we don't need as many hunters as we have. We defeated our first bandit camp. I need to build another... Uh, um, yeah, they, they definitely had me in mind when they gave us the crypts. That's all I can say. Okay. So these, this guy should definitely be over here. Definitely more deer, two deer spawns right here. All right, let's wait for everything to be deleted. Right on. Okay. I feel like I feel like the uh, the mountain and the terraforming part is next because we do need to start thinking about defend defensible areas, and I like this. As kind of the defensive area. Just start getting things kind of booted out. With those people returning to the workforce, that gives us 10 people for terraforming. We're back on track. I'm really excited about getting these herbs. Like we got another deer spawn over here. And we got all those swords now, so we got some weapons. Good times. Good times. So much, so many deer. All right. What is this? There are no trees within range. We're going to have to wait for these things to grow up. That's fine. We got a lot of wood. Um, these trees are going to be growing real quick. Next year, by next year, probably. All right, cool. We got three over there. We got a few over there. This guy right here. Going to go up here. Cool. We got food. It was a beautiful, a beautiful day. This is kind of where I'm calling, calling things. This will be the Valley of Death right here. This will be a lip. will be the end. Another lip. Probably bring it to about right here. Terraform this up. Call it a day on that area. Let's actually eat all of this. All of this right here, for sure. And all of that. All of this, yeah. Let's make this the, the edge. Looks like a good spot. It's a clean, clean corners. We're just gonna do lazy terraforming on all of this. 
And this will be probably like an industrial area with no entryways, except through the defensive corridor. And of course, where all the housing is so they can get up here. All right. We got our work cut out for us. All right. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a skip ahead. We, we got the fun parts out of the way, so I'm going to do a bit of terraforming and I'm not going to make people watch that because it's going to take me a bit. But I'm going to get this all set up and I'm going to come back in with a bit of a better military and probably a few more houses. Uh, we're, we're right there where we want to be, but uh, we definitely need about... Yeah. Yeah, that many more houses. Four more. That's gonna that's gonna make a big dent in the labor pool, but that's also going to cause some issues. So you know, there's no time like the present. One more tower right there. We're doing great. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Uh, the next Let's Play, like I said, is going to skip forward probably 30 minutes or so. I just need to do some terraforming, get everything ready. All right, thank you.